Trump just posted damning the idea of traitor McCain and proves he lied to Americans on his deathbed. If you're one of the hundreds of millions of Americans that are looking for health care relief, you might not have warm and fuzzy feelings toward John McCain right now. Despite his much-touted military record and decades in public service, the aging senator from Arizona keeps hurting his fellow Americans by getting in the way of what he has promised to do. McCain has had a deciding vote in more than one Obamacare repeal over the past few months, and Republicans are wanting answers. On particularly important individual looking for a reason for McCain's madness is President Trump. Breitbart News reported on the president's scamming tweet directed at McCain. The senator has derailed two different attempts to repeal Obamacare, and the president isn't pleased, Trump said on Monday. A few of the many clips of John McCain talking about repealing and replacing O'Care. My oh my has he changed complete turn from years of talk. The tweet contained a video in which McCain promised more than 13 times to repeal and replace Obamacare. In the video, McCain called Obamacare a complete failure. The Arizona senator declared, we don't want to fix it. We want to replace it say Donald J. Trump in Twitter. A few of the many clips of John McCain talking about repealing and replacing O'Care. My oh my has he changed complete turn from years of talk. That was six minutes of McCain telling his fans what he wanted to do about Obamacare. Six minutes of what we now know to be empty campaign promises and ear tickling. He doesn't care at all about what he promised. He's only concerned with making as much trouble for President Trump as possible. While it might have been understandable if the senator found something he couldn't sign off on in one draft of the repeal, putting the measure to death twice just can't be an accident. Sen. John McCain first tanked Obamacare repeal in August when McCain and Senators Susan Collins and Lisa Murkowski, R.A.K., voted against the skinny repeal bill of Obamacare. McCain complained that the process for repealing Obamacare did not allow for potential changes proposed by Arizona Governor Doug Ducey. McCain then announced last Friday that he would oppose the Graham-Cassidy-Obamacare repeal bill, even though Governor Ducey endorsed the Obamacare repeal block grant proposal. Nothing that the Republicans do is good enough for McCain because he's more interested in his own agenda than he is in what's best for Americans. The hero that was once considered someone we could look up to, gets more tarnished by the day. All of this dissidence and objection to repealing Obamacare is from a man that once declared, it is clear that any serious attempt to improve our health care system must begin with a full repeal and replacement of Obamacare, and I will continue fighting on behalf of the people of Arizona to achieve it. So what's going on in the mind of this senator who's been constantly at odds with the president? You don't have to look far to find out. The former naval aviator who was once a POW seems to have lost sight of his allegiance to the commander-in-chief of the armed forces. Maybe it's jealousy because President Trump won a presidential campaign, or maybe it's his illness getting the better of him. But either way, McCain has made no secret of his disdain for our president. In an op-ed penned by McCain that ran in the Washington Post a few weeks ago, McCain said we must respect his authority and constitutional responsibilities. We must, where we can, cooperate with him. But we are not his subordinates. We don't answer to him. We answer to the American people. McCain went on to say, Congress must govern with a president who has no experience of public office, is often poorly informed and can be impulsive in his speech and conduct. We must be diligent in discharging our responsibility to serve as a check on his power. And we should value our identity as members of Congress more than our partisan affiliation. Wow. Why don't you tell us what you really think? Even if what Senator McCain is saying was even true, the American people chose this inexperienced person that he's so viciously attacking. For another thing, Attacking the President of the United States isn't something that any person in Congress should be doing, and certainly not one of the senior members of his own party. It's becoming more and more evident that McCain has a personal bias against the President, and that bias is prohibiting him from keeping his promise to give Americans the health care they need. Perhaps it's time for the convalescing senator from Arizona to head home and convalesce from there. If the requirements for senators still have anything to do with looking out for the American people, 
McCain no longer qualified in any way. H slash T, Breitbart News Share if you're ready for McCain to be out of office. Please do not forget like on videos and subscribe to the channel and comment because your vote matters to us and do not forget to visit our page on Facebook and liking it and follow up and thank you for watching.